Okay, I had a few requests about this uh, yard camper model I've been designing. Uh, I'm in the process of uh, uh, looking for uh, an old scamper trailer. Uh, at least 20 foot, including your hitch, to be able to uh, build a 8 by 16 yurt base on top of it uh, that folds out to uh, 450 square feet or 24 foot diameter. So when the time comes, you can just hitch up to your camper and, and get out of the danger zone. So it's more of a bug out camper, like a portable yurt camper. But this is the uh, set up this is just under five acres all together so what you have the red there and these that's your 24 your uh, full 24 foot yurt and let's see if I can expand this upward and around it you would have a hexagonal yurt system a floor system that they could that you could uh, set up then your yurt would actually set on top and uh, this would have the uh, have a set of stairs coming down and to be fenced off it would be like a covered in uh, balcony and you need that so this center yurt would be be for a family of four or five and they would run the camp uh, I'm gonna have to See if I can go down again. Just give me a minute here. Okay. So that's your basic camp. So from the center of the yurt, uh, the red yurt, to here, this is 1,728 square feet. So you got 24. 24 and, and, and 24 so across here you have uh, 72 feet and uh, then what I did I've expanded it uh, instead of putting the hex this way I, got, I put another border on the outside and uh, it's, it's going to be bigger than five acres all told but the beauty about this is that I'm able to set up accommodations for dining and eating and uh, getting cleaned up in the center so this year here and this year camp here be able to share the same dining area so the yellow are 16 foot yurts yurts they be for guest cabins for your volunteer staff and so you'd have say two in each so that'll give you uh, 12 people per camp as volunteer staff and all together you'd have 72 people for volunteer staff uh, designed along the woofer concept or workaway program so people could come and volunteer their time for a place to stay and, and do and do work in exchange so when I expanded it out uh, these areas here would be for like uh, gardens and I expanded it out a second time so this here would be for uh, uh, grazing or maybe uh, root crops or, or something like that but all together you have about uh, I worked it out at 4.8 but I think it's going to be around five and a half or six acres and uh, the beauty about this you don't have to drive to work you just get up in the morning you go eat then you you walk to work you just uh, cross the road there so this road is designed to accommodate uh, transport trucks. So you're going to have to have transport trucks of material coming in. And these are your workstations. They'll probably use like a, a 36 foot uh, yurt in the center and three uh, 30 foot yurts. And these would be all mobile. And that's for people to come to replicate the work or to build these camps. And so you got, you're not congested and uh, that's why I had to add, the, add in the buffer units. So this six acre model, could be a seven acre model. Uh, so you have a center road and with an access road. So you could actually take this model and um, 
and expand it to the next expansion. Uh, so you would connect the the next your model would would connect to here, and that be your center. Then you would have six of these around the same same kind of profile. So if this is uh, seven acres, you multiply that by nine, so you would get 56 acres roughly. So on a 56 acre camp, uh, you would have a centerpiece like this. This whole thing would become a centerpiece. Uh, that's where you would go uh, for, for praise and worship, like a spiritual gathering point. And that would give you six of these uh, uh, camps with the workstation in the center. So this would work for the times that we're coming into. And, and it's not designed for everybody. It is uh, designed for those who will have uh, need a place to stay. But the Lord's going to gather. You know, the Lord's going to gather in the righteous. And and the his hand of protection would be over over them. But basically this camp is designed, is portable, because it needs to be set up outside of every major city in the United States. You know, maybe 20 minutes and a half an hour drive outside the city. So people that have jobs in the city can still go work. But you got a camp set up. This would be like a staging ground to prepare to, to relocate into the final uh, uh, places of safety when when the you know when the hammer of judgment comes down upon America, because President Trump will not be able to delay uh, the judgment coming on America. Uh, but he, with him draining the swamp, it's it's going to mitigate uh, the the damage, right? The, the judgment upon upon America to be. Uh, lessened, but also it gives us time to prepare. Okay, gonna leave it here. It's just a quick update. This is uh, Donald Taylor uh, uh, Joshua is the name that the Lord gave me coming to you from here in, in Hope, British Columbia, Canada.